Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we are going to be having some good clean fun with Aether Beauty. I am so excited to have these two new eyeshadow quads. I got an email recently from the company um, just stating that they were launching these quads and that uh, they were giving access to like their VIP members. I'm not actually sure what that means. I don't know if it just means that it's someone that has previously purchased from the site. I have purchased anything that I have from Aether Beauty. Um, I have talked about them a little bit in the past and I will kind of get into that, but I was excited to be able to get these two quads. Now I thought in the email that it said that these were launching, I believe on the 21st. So when I sat down to film this video, I realized that I didn't have the email anymore, so I just reached out to the brand, and hopefully I will get details before I finish editing and uploading this video. It is uh, Saturday night at 10.45 at night, and I really just wanted to get this information and a couple looks up to you guys as soon as possible. So I just got these in the mail today, and we're gonna get started. This brand has beautiful packaging. Like, I certainly don't feel like I am missing anything by it being fully recyclable, but I also wanna share with you the shipping materials. Now, when I received these two palettes, so of course they came in these boxes, these are the outer boxes for the palettes, it came in this envelope. You guys, I was so excited to see this because my heart breaks so much when I get like a palette or two and it comes in this big box and then it has more packaging wrapped around the palettes or whatever it is, and then a bo outer box and then the inner box. It's, it's just a lot and it's not necessary. And while I recycle as much as I possibly can, I'm really looking to like reduce that and also reduce the carbon footprint of how much has to be shipped. So I really appreciated that. Thank you so much, Aether. So to talk to you guys a little bit about these palettes, again, I do have both of them. We have the Topaz Mini Crystal Palette and then the Ametrine Mini Crystal Palette. And these are crystal charge products, just like all of the other um, palettes from Aether Beauty. So here we have the Ametrine. I'll just show this to you guys quick because if you're like me, you're just like, okay, Kelly, dive into the color. We just wanna see a little bit of what we're working with, right? So these are four beautiful shades. With this one, you have one matte and then you have shimmer and metallic shades. Then we have the Topaz palette, which I have here. And this one is for shimmer and metallics. There are no mattes in this palette. So I just wanna give you guys an up close look at this packaging. Like how cute is that? They have that sort of like crystal gemstone faceted cut, um, just like the other palettes have. And you can see here, they are mirror free and magnet free. And that is so that the whole palette is recyclable. So you have this little elastic that you just flip around your palette and then you are good to go. So I really love this. I do have here the other two palettes that I have. I have the Amethyst Crystal Gemstone Palette, and then I also have the Crystal Charge Cheek Palette in Ruby. So I am gonna be using this later. I did not put any blush or highlighter on, so we can use this on camera today. Now, if you aren't familiar with Aether Beauty, I just wanna give you a little bit of a background on the company. I have been so impressed with this brand and what they stand for and what they've been bringing to the beauty community. Now, I thought that the easiest and quickest way to be able to do that is to read you the little card, and I've gotten this in both of my little shipments. So right on the top, it says Aether Beauty, and then the hashtags are Good Vibes Beauty and No Sacrifice Beauty, which I just love because this is really, a way to show that you can have a beautiful, clean makeup and not be cutting any corners and not giving up anything in your beauty routine. So this says, hi, I am so excited to introduce you to Aether Beauty. I launched the brand after being the head of product development for Sephora for over seven years, as well as their head of sustainability. I left to launch my own clean beauty brand because I saw a hole in the market for clean beauty that could work as well as conventional beauty, be aspirational, be inclusive, and also colorful. Like already, that shows you that we have a wonderful business owner that has like seen what is missing from this space. And I love that we're talking about being inclusive and also being colorful and having something to bring as far as like the creative side of makeup. Because when I look at a lot of clean beauty companies, now this is obviously a generalization, but when we look at most clean beauty brands, they are a little bit more mellow when it comes to the color schemes. Now, this says, all of my products are vegan, cruelty-free, and clean. I use organic, fair trade, and child labor-free ingredients. Our packaging uses recycled materials and is fully recyclable. I am the only employee, 100% self-funded, so a total girl boss. Thank you so much for supporting my indie brand. And this is from Tila. I believe it's Tila. Maybe it's Tila. 
Um, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but let's dive right into these palettes. So I am going to swatch these for you. And then while I'm showing you the colors, I'll read to you the features and benefits here on the package. So first we have the Ametrine palette. And by the way, each of these palettes came with this cute little Aether Beauty card inside and they have little, um, I guess I would say like messages on the back. One says, keep your feet on the earth, your head in the cosmos. And then the other says, let the star shine wash over you like a cleansing mist of white light. So these are very cute. I think this would make a really beautiful gift. So first we'll go into the Ametrine palette. And these did come with little plastic sleeves covering the palette and giving you each of the shade names, but they are also on the back as well, which I find very helpful. So I'm going to do the top row and then the bottom row, and we will show you these pretty colors. So I'm just gonna like give these quick little swatches. I just realized that wearing a long sleeve shirt again means that I don't have a lot of swatching room. Oh, this one shade is just like right up my alley. All right, so we have Connection, Copper Rose, Rose Gold, and Spiritual Realm. And for some reason, I just don't feel like these are showing up quite as reflective as they actually are. These are super pretty. Um, that Rose Gold shade, oh, like when I was swatching it, I was just like, yes, please. So, so pretty. Like it is, it is of course, a freaking rose gold because that is what I love. But I think it's really interesting because these have like an indescribable undertone. Like there's definitely a little bit of like that violet mauve, but they have almost like a little like dirty, rusty shade going on. All right, so here we have the Topaz palette. You guys, this, oh, this is so pretty. So we have Topaz. And then we have Cosmic Awareness, Rejuvenation, and then Solar Energy. <sighs> okay, so right away, this is sort of giving me Natasha Denona mini gold palette vibes. And I don't have that one, but I feel like that's sort of what it's going towards. Now, I don't have the Natasha Denona gold palette. It has been on my wish list for a long time. Um, this totally gives me that like kind of grungy olive vibe and I am here for it. Really quickly, I wanted to give you the info that is on the back of these palette boxes. For the Topaz palette, it says four cosmic inspired shades in shimmer and metallic finishes that dazzle your eyes with incredible luster. Crystal charged pigment infused with Topaz, which illuminates the skin with its light reflective properties. Formulated with organic coconut oil, organic shea butter, to create an uber smooth buttery texture for one swipe application infused with organic rosehip oil and organic moringa oil, which provides radiant looking glowing skin and is rich in vitamin C. So to me, this sounds like this is the perfect formula if you have dry eyelids because you've got some amazing buttery ingredients in here that should swipe across your lid beautifully. Now for the Citrine palette, this says that this one has four shades in shimmer matte and metallic finishes. It also says that it's infused with ame amethyst and citrine, which illuminate the skin with their light reflective properties. Um, it also has the same buttery ingredients. So you're looking at both of these having those wonderful ingredients. All right, since you're already this close up to my face, why don't we go ahead and get started? I'm gonna go through and do topaz on this eye, create a look for you guys. And then I'm actually going to film something for Instagram using the Ametrine palette. Obviously you guys will get to see the end result of that, but you can see all the details on my Instagram, which is keep beauty real. So why don't we dig into this beautiful palette?
Here we have the final look using the Topaz palette. Now, wow, I have to say, I think that this is very beautiful. And I did go through um, first with dry shadow. I wanted, to, of course, to make sure to see like what everything would look like with dry shadow. So when I first laid down the inner and outer colors, I used them dry. And then I did end up deciding to wet my brush just to see how much intensity I could build up, especially in this inner corner. Now, the only thing that I am a little bit surprised by, and it could just be that, you know, the way I like layered everything, but I felt like this shade and this shade, so this is Topaz and Solar Energy, I felt like they looked very similar on the eye. I mean, can you guys see? Like, there's not a huge amount of difference. Like I said, it could just be that, you know, when I brought this one in, it blended a lot into this one. This one is definitely more green, whereas this one has a bit more of that gold shift. So I would say when you're only working with four shades that I would like there to be a little bit more of a difference just so that you have a little bit more variety in a palette to be able to work with, but very, very beautiful. I mean, if you are a green lover, this is such a quick and easy grab and go. And you know, even though all of the shades are more metallic, I think that you can actually get away with this. I contemplated just taking today's bronzer and like buffing it through my crease, which is probably what I would do if I needed another matte shade, but I think that actually the metallic buffed out into the crease nicely, and that brown isn't like a super high, high reflective shade. That's that rejuvenation shade. It's, you know, it has a little bit of that shimmer, but it's not like super foiled, so it almost, you know, can work in that like matte way, if you will. So very happy with this. All right, I am going to go ahead and play a little bit with the Ametrine palette, and I will be right back. All right, we are back with our Ametrine palette look as well. Now I will say I did go in with this highlight shade from the Ruby cheek palette to use on my inner corner and brow bone. I just wanted to like draw in a little bit more light. I think that this look is so beautiful and soft and romantic, but before I sort of give you my final first impression thoughts on these palettes, I wanna go ahead and finish up my face. So I'm gonna go through with uh, I think I'm just very lightly gonna dip into this deeper shade. This is the shade Divinity. We also have Aphrodisiac and then Pure Love, which we will also use on our cheekbones. So let's go through. I'm gonna just take a Luxie blusher brush, get the hair out of the way. So this, uh, this shade is very, very pigmented. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and pop it right on the cheeks. super pretty. And I really like to mix both of these shades as well, like for a little bit lighter, brighter blush. But I think, you know, given that it's fall, that like, I don't know, that's almost like a crushed berry type color. I think that that's really good for fall. I don't want to put too much on, just a little bit. Probably for you guys, um, through the camera, it doesn't look like very much, but I think it is just enough. Eh, why not? We'll just throw a little more on here since it is like probably uh, going on midnight at this point, I might as well just put on as much makeup as possible because we're just gonna end up washing it right off. Yeah, super pretty. All right, now we'll go through with some highlight and we are going to use again that Pure Love and just pop this on. This is a little Moda brush that I got in a collection. I'm just going in like super softly at first because I don't wanna get too much of this. And this does have like a little bit of a, it's like a pink champagne. It's not like a, you know, bluey pink. It's very, very pretty. Like I feel like most of the time when I get highlights that have a bit of pink to them, they are almost that like holographic pink, but this one, let me give you a little swatch here. So if you guys can see that, it's almost like a, like a pink, but with a, pretty like coppery rose gold shift. It is so pretty. Um, I should definitely be getting this highlight out more often. All right, we're just gonna give our face a little bit of a spritz here. I've got the Milani Make It Last uh, Dewy. Nope, this is just the Make It Last setting spray. All right, and just for a very quick lip, we're gonna go through with the Lila B B Elegant shade. My lips are so dry right now. I know I always say that, but they really are. And 
and this is the second time I have put on a full face of makeup today. So my face has taken a beating. All right, now I feel completed. So what do you guys think? I have to say I am really enjoying both of these palettes. I do think that like my eyeshadow lover's heart goes towards the topaz a little bit more. Um, that's just because like these are shades that I tend to use more often. And I will say I was a little worried when I opened this one up um, that it was going to be close to the amethyst palette that I have, but they are actually um, kind of like a different shift in tone. So I'm gonna put both of these up here for you guys so you can see. So I think that the amethyst definitely has more of those like blue toned purples and some of those like smoky shades, whereas the Ametrine almost has like a little bit more of that like ready plum tone to it. So um, also like it's just nice to be able to have this to like once I'm traveling again, I'll be able to just pop this in a bag. So I'm definitely very happy to have this. And at $24, by the way, I don't think I said the price. This is a beautiful little gift to be able to give someone if you're looking for something for the holidays. I mean, I think any eyeshadow lover would adore this packaging. You've got four very usable shades in both of these. Um, I guess I would say if it's something that you're looking for like one whole complete look, maybe going with this one just because the other one doesn't have any mattes. Altogether, I mean, for $24 and considering that these have beautiful ingredients, you're doing something that's great for the environment with the sustainable recyclable packaging. I am very excited. I am definitely going to be getting a lot of use, especially out of this topaz this season. I think I'll probably use this one more in the spring. That's just when I tend to go towards, you know, more of these like soft romantic looks, but oh, my gosh, this rose gold shade on my lid is so, so pretty. For me, I do wish that these were like a six pan palette just because I'm just not someone who steers towards quads in general. So I will probably pull out another palette to be able to use with this, which again, is not a big deal. But if this was a six pan, I could see having a lighter shade to be able to have a highlight and one matte in here so you'd have a little bit more variety. But if you're someone who really just likes a quick grab and go, these are gonna be perfect as is. And like I said, the quality is super beautiful. Also, just one thing to note, I realized as I was like popping in here that there is a lot of kick up in the pan. To me, that's neither here nor there. I find that actually a lot in pigmented shades, you're going to get a lot of kick up and with something that's a softer shadow like this because of those beautiful like buttery ingredients like the rosehip oil, that's probably going to happen. So I really don't mind that at all, but I know that that's something that some people like to have note of. So I hope you guys have enjoyed getting to hear a little bit about these Aether Beauty palettes. Now, if you did wanna pick one of these up, I will link the Aether Beauty website down below. It is an affiliate link, so I would earn a small commission off of your purchase, but I do also have a 10% off discount code. If you use Keep Beauty Real, when you check out, you will get 10% off of your purchase. So I'm very excited that Aether Beauty was kind enough to give a small channel like myself an opportunity to be able to give you guys a discount. So thank you so much to the company and thank you to those of you who do use this affiliate link if you do make a purchase. Of course, you don't have to do that. You could go straight to the company, but I would love it if you would support this channel by using that link. Now I have to say, I have been so in love with all of the purchases I've made and I do have a couple things on my wish list uh, to be able to get for next time I'm shopping on the website. So I showed you guys this cheek palette, which is the Ruby Crystal Charge Cheek Palette. They also have one called Amber, which is more like of that like peachy amber color, which oh, I really want that one so bad. So that will be the next thing I purchase. Also, I have to admit, when I got this bundle, um, I really wasn't paying attention. And I thought that I was getting, I believe the Rose Quartz Palette, um, which is more on the like pinky side of things. So, that one I definitely wanna get. I will say that this is like beautiful for those smoky plums, um, but that one really like looks like it's totally gonna to be my jam. So that's also on my list of things to get. I've been very pleased with these palettes and certainly don't have any complaints. I love, love, love the packaging. Like honestly, to me, this is some of the prettiest packaging I've been able to get my hands on this year. And I do love that this brand is great for your skin and also great for the environment. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about Aether Beauty and getting to see two of these palettes. Again, 
you can check out the full details on this look on my Instagram at Keep Beauty Real. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you wanna see my future videos. I do have some fun ones coming up. And if you have a clean beauty living friend who you think would love this video, please share it with them. That would mean so much to me. It really does help me out here on my channel and it means a lot to me to have you hanging out here with me tonight. So thank you guys so much. I will see you really soon.